Team, I hope that you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Army Study Guide, my Stoker's Study Guide, right? Uh, to help prepare you or those who are in your charge to appear before a promotion or competition board. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at probably the very, the very first subject area on every single MOI, and that's ADP1, right? The Army. So today we're gonna to talk about Army. I'm gonna give you some of the top uh, standard board questions that you could receive about ADP1. And I'm also going to give you some situational questions as well. Hey man, if this is what you're into, professional development, military news, and all that jazz, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you can stay up to date on some future content. But before we get going, let's get a quick shout out from my sponsor. <laughs> That's right, buddy. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so here we go. So I'm going to ask you a question. And by the way, these are the questions that I take into my board. Uh, if my dudes knew, they'd be watching all these videos. <laughs> um, but I, I, I ask more situational questions, uh, almost exclusively now. Um, but these are the standard board questions that you're going to hear. I've, I've, I've sat in a lot of boards. I've been in your place. Um, so I, th I think, I hope that you're going to find that these are, are the ones to, to try to start here. Let this be your launching pad and then eat the rest of the book, right? Uh, so I'll ask you a question and then I'll, I'll pause for just a second and then I'll give you a chance to pause the video, right? And then I'll give you that answer and then we'll move on to the next one. And along the way, I'll, I'll give you a few uh, tips as well. So here we go. Question numero uno. In which domains do the U.S. forces operate? So, of course, the U.S. forces operate on the air, land, maritime, space, and cyberspace domains. Right on. As a unique military profession, the Army is built upon an ethos of trust. What are the other four essential characteristics of our profession? So, of course, there are military expertise, honorable service, esprit de corps, and stewardship. What is the most uh, important determinant of combat power? First, Sergeant. Can you rephrase the question? Why, yes, I can. What is the most important determinant of combat power? <laughs> it's the same question, right? Because odds are with a question like that, like, I'm just going to ask you a stinking question. And the answer to this question is too stinking easy. It's leadership. So I, on that note, right, you can ask to restate, you can ask to rephrase. You may not get what you're looking for, but it may be just worth it to ask the question to allow your mind to slow down a little bit, catch back up. So Title 10, uh, which is what you and I fall under, establishes the basic structure of the Army. What forces make up the Army? Right, so of course that's the regular Army, National Guard, and uh, the Reserve, right? And what is the function of the operating force? So the function of the operating force is to... Is to <laughs> Be organized, be trained, and get ready to go uh, support our nation, right? So, and the next question is, what is the function of the generating force? And I need you to just remember that generating is where we are bringing people in, right? We're cranking out soldiers. And, of course, uh, operating is where we're operating. It, it, it's us, right? What five sets of characteristics will enhance the Army's operational adaptability? So this particular one is a list, right? You can see that list right there. And you'll see this a lot of times where you'll have a list or even a long paragraph. Maybe it's in the study guide. Maybe it's in the regulation. By the way, pro tip number one, when board member asks you what you studied, and never say you study the study guide. 
No, I'm going to tear, I'm going I'm, I'm to chew into you. I'm going to nibble on you a little bit. You studied the regulations, okay? Uh, so if you can't get all five, start off with getting two. Remember uh, key words of each one. Uh, if you can't remember the whole thing, like if you could just remember uh, depth, adaptive, flexibility, integrated, and lethal, I would give you 100% go on that question. Even though you, you didn't say all of it. If you said uh, depth, flexibility, and lethal, that's all I can recall at this time. However, I would refer to ADP-1 for the rest of that, for Sergeant. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count it wrong against you. When was the American Continental Army established? Now you listen to me. If you can't get this question right, it's going to be a bad day. Bad day. Because on this day that we're talking about, that, my friend, is when America started ringing some bells. That's June 14, 1775, baby. Come on now. What is the Army's mission? So the Army's mission is to fight and win America's wars, baby. Come on now. What is the, the motto of the Army's seal? Other people like to steal this, don't they? But it's this will defend. Mm. Some situational questions. Move on, right? Those are all my standard board questions. You notice I don't ask uh, what is ADP-1 or what is the ADP that covers the Army. Because <sighs> you got to know that stuff, right? You have to know that stuff. So let's move on to some situational questions. First question that I, that I ask, it's a situational question. It's how do you enable or facilitate your commander meeting the commander's intent? What's your role in that? How do you, as Special Schmuckatelli, Or Sergeant, <laughs> I was getting ready to cuss. YouTube wouldn't like that. How do you enable your commander to meet that end state, his intent? See, I think I think this feeds into something that that I, I I've talked to quite a few NCOs, especially during the promotion boards, it's, and it's this. I don't think that most junior soldiers recognize how important that you are. We can't do our job without you. And that front line NCO, that, that first line NCO, man, you are, you are the cog. And too many of us, too many of the dudes like me, Take you for granted. Because, man, you're the team chief, man. You are where the rubber meets the road. If you do your job, man, my job is so easy. And you are the one that we're constantly pounding and grinding on, right? Soldier statuses on this. Appointments for that. Training here. PT there. It all comes down to you. So when you get a question like this, I want you to remember that and just start cranking some words and sentences out. I am the first one every single day to greet and meet my soldiers as we prepare for the day's activities by starting off with some PT, which by the way, First Sergeant, is the most important meal of the day, so we're getting after it every single day. And from there we move on, we take care of our maintenance. And I, may, I ensure that our equipment is PMCS to standard, 1020 standards, all day long. I make sure that I'm getting ready for Sergeant's time training on Thursdays. And we go out there and we execute training. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but we're out there, we're getting after it, we're getting dirty. I make sure that I'm leaning forward from my foxhole and looking at the, the training calendar from the last quarterly training brief 
and I'm preparing my soldiers for some predictability. I'm spending time with them. I know my soldiers. Start spitting off some more stuff from the Creed and Non-Commissioned Officer. Man, you give me anything like that, man, and you're go at this station. Do ah. you have a soldier in your formation who, after receiving the command Parade Rest, continues to snicker and joke around? What is your response? All right, man, here we go. What are you going to do, right? This is what I'm asking you is when, when, when it doesn't go right and according to plan, how do you respond, right? How do you get after it? That's what I want to know. Mate, however it is that you do you, just make sure it all comes back down to enforcing disciplines and standards. And remember, because odds are, depending on what you ask, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell that soldier to, that I give him a command parade rest, and he needs to stand at parade rest and keep his mouth shut. First arm. Oh, so you're going to just verbally counsel the soldier for insubordination. Is that what you're telling me, Sergeant? Is that what you're telling me you're going to do? You're going to give him a verbal counseling right there on the spot? Well, let me tell you something. Verbal counselings don't exist. What happens the next time that he acts in an insubordinate manner? What are you going to do then? Well, it's too late now because you already missed the boat, man. Because if it's not documented, it never happened. That, and these are types of things, man, that I start peeling onions back and, and bringing out the real people who are sitting on, on your side. Disciplines and standards, my friend. What is the la when is the last time that you inspected your soldier's room? And what did you notice during the inspection? As a first-line NCO, you should be in your soldier's business every single day. Now, here's the trick to this, right? I don't want you inspecting your soldier's rooms every single day. Not doing an inspection, right? I just want you to be a part of your soldier's lives. I want, I want you to incarnate this is my squad, right? I want, you to, I want you to live and flesh this thing out. And this is where you can come into a trap because if all you're doing is inspecting, soldiers are never going to open up to you. They're never going to talk to you. You just got to be present, man. You have to be present at points of friction. You have to be present at, these, at those decisive places. And the barracks is one of them, right? The motor pool is the other. You have to be there. Man, it's it what I got for you. And by the way, this is my squad, man. You need, you need to know that, right? Hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Send this out to some of your battle buddies if you think it'll help them out as well. And we'll uh, leave some comments down below that way we can generate a quality conversation and continue to learn from each other. Until then, man, my brothers and sisters, I hope you all are doing well. You stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.